Hmm. Well, today was a good day in church. Uh, learned some things. Turn to your books. Turn to your holy books. Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 1, all the way to 18, verse 18. Very good stuff. Love my pastor, love my church. Very good stuff. Had some family over today. Very good Sunday. It says in the Bible that God um, created everything in six days. The earth, the stars, the universe. On the seventh day he rested. Today was the seventh day. The Sabbath day, Sunday. Keep it holy. Anyway, tomorrow is Monday the 17th. Tomorrow I am going up to Antrim County. Big day tomorrow, Antrim County. Excuse me, I'm going to Traverse City for a rally at 11 a.m. Then I might go to Antrim County. Maybe, I'm not so sure yet. I um, have to, uh, I'm um, not going to go in details, but I have to assist a friend tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say. So I don't know if I'm going to make it to, I guess there's some kind of court case tomorrow. Excuse me. I was told on Tuesday the judge is either going to demiss it or forward it. It was requested by the Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson, to dismiss the case. The case has been filed in Antrim County. There was a forensic audit on Dominion machines, and it concluded that the machines purposely, okay, purposely mess with our elections, frauded our elections. But oh, the Democrats and liberals, oh, there's no, there's no evidence of voter fraud. Oh no, Joe Biden won. Oh no! So all these hundreds of uh, hundreds of signed documents, affidavits, people coming forward, whistleblowers. Hey, assholes! I was at the TCF Center, not on election night, but I was at the TCF Center. The night after election night, you know who was outside? Antifa. Detroit will breathe. They were demanding every count, every vote, every legal vote. We need to count. But Antifa, BLM were outside. One girl comes up to me. Hey, look, it's Raging Rob. The one girl that bounces around. She, she's been around Michigan. I don't know if she's Antifa or what the hell she is. She's something. She's on a few of my videos. Uh, you've probably seen her around Michigan. She always wears a t-shirt that says, Grab my pussy, I dare you. She was there. I think her name's Samantha. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, Detroit or Breed members were there. You know what they were doing? At the TCF Center, when I was down there, they were putting up cardboard over the windows so you couldn't look inside. Now, why would they do that if this was an honest election? Why? I was at the TCF Center on Thursday, Wednesday. Friday, that whole week. And then I went to the Capitol on Saturday for another rally. <clears throat> that was the day that the uh, violence broke out by the shithouses. Yeah. Guess what I did when I was down in Detroit on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? You know what I did? 
I talked to people, including witnesses that were inside the TCF Center on election night. I made a few conversations. You know what they told me? You know what they told me? There was no way in hell that this was an honest election. This is coming from them. This ain't coming from me. This is coming from them. I'm an independent journalist. People give me info, I put it out. This is what I was told. Now you can take that information and do whatever you want with it. I'm just forwarding it to you, the viewer. People tell me things, I tell you things. What you do with it is on you. I have no reason to lie. I heard some things and I talked to some people. I was actually inside the House of Representatives building when Rudy Giuliani was in town in Lansing. I was inside the building in the overflow room watching the hearing on a big screen across the hall. Then after everything was over, I went outside. There's Rudy Giuliani. Hi, how you doing? My name is Raging Rob. Nice to meet you, Raging Rob. My name is Rudy Giuliani. I took down the mob in the 70s. My name is Raging Rob, and I'm an independent journalist and YouTube maker. It was great. I met some really good people this last year. Anyway, Antrim County tomorrow. I thought... I was told on Tuesday there was a court hearing, and then I was told again tomorrow. So I think there's something going on tomorrow and something going on Tuesday. Can't be 100% sure. But there's a rally tomorrow in Traverse City. Um, some important people are going to be there. I guess what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to try to talk to some people, find out some things. And then I'll relay the information to you, where it'll probably get flagged down off social media, because I know too much. But, you know, well, whatever, it is what it is. But I'm going to be in Antrim County tomorrow. You know, I don't... I do this because I feel it's my duty, you know, to do this. To know what's going on in my, my community, my state. Oh, somebody on Twitter put out a message saying, uh, with the link to one of my videos, Raging Rob is going to educate you about constitutional law and HIPAA. Does that sound familiar? That's not my job to educate you on constitutional law and HIPAA. My job is to, my job as an independent journalist is to go out there, get information, take videos, take pictures, and then Pass it on to the viewer. Okay? That's what I do. As a YouTuber, I give my opinions on things. Information that I find out. My thoughts on things. Basically, my opinions. What I think is accurate, to the best of my knowledge... You want to study constitutional law and HIPAA? Don't come to me. Okay? I'm not a lawyer. I'm an independent journalist. Okay? Take a constitutional law class like I did. Okay? You want to learn about HIPAA? Take a medical class. Take a, take a, you know, talk to a lawyer. Talk to a medical lawyer. Okay? Don't come to me. I'm a YouTube video maker. I go out, I put my boots on the ground at these rallies and protests. I take videos, I find out information, I talk to people, and then I relay it to the viewer so people know what's going on. You want real media? Hey, I'm not hey, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying I'm hundred percent accurate. Sometimes I get bad intel. Okay. I'm independent. That's why I'm called independent. I'm definitely not mainstream media, but I'm independent for a reason. Sometimes I get bad intel.
don't rely on me. That's all I'm saying. Do your own damn research. I'm not perfect. But I'm independent for a reason. You know, I went to a second I went to a two A rally yesterday in Fowlerville. A couple of people I never seen before in my life walked right up to me. He's like, Are you Rob? I'm like, Yeah, who are you? I watch your videos, man, and he shook my hand. I love what you do. I'm like, I'm just an ordinary guy. What did I do? Well, you tell the truth and you 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 uh show what the mainstream media doesn't show. I'm like, Yeah, that's what I do as a patriot. You know, that's what I do. That's what anybody should do. I'm doing the work that anybody should do. Okay? What I'm doing, I'm just an ordinary guy. I just got happened to get involved with this stuff. Never intended to. I just, things happened in my state and I got involved. So, I appreciate your, uh, how do I say this? I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate your support. Okay. I'm just one guy out of many. So just want to let, let that be known. I'm no Alex Jones. I'm, a, I'm not no Caitlin Bennett. I'm not no uh, some of those higher up guys. You know. Millie Weaver and, uh, you know. Steven Crowder, another guy I like. Well, hopefully we get some results tomorrow in Antrim County and this case goes forward. Uh, here's some things about why why do you think that, that there's they're trying to go crazy on shutting down pipelines right now? We've had the pipeline hack in the south. Okay, what did Joe Biden do? One of the first things he did when he came to, when he got into office, he shut down the Keystone Pipeline, right? In the Dakotas, but how many thousands out of work? Oh, all of a sudden we had this hack in the South, the Colonial Pipeline. How did that happen? And, and now we got Gretchen Whitmer trying to shut down a Canadian pipeline. Why are they trying to shut down the pipelines? Yeah. Go figure. Because they're trying to take your mind, your mind off what's really happening. They got an audit out. They got an election audit out in Arizona. You're not hearing much about it, right? Mainstream media is focused on the pipeline, the pipeline, the pipeline. They got several states that don't even have gas. You're not going to hear that from the mainstream media. You have to go do some digging like I did. I actually go out and do some digging. So my question to Antifa on Twitter, because they like to spread my videos lately. Did you actually do some digging? I did. I will say this, though, to all these morons out there, I believe their highness, Joe Biden, your king, um, if you can hack a pipeline, you can hack an election. Okay, let's get that straight. In 2003, when we had the major blackout on the East and 50 million people were put out of power, they covered it up and said that a tree in Ohio knocked down a power line, knocked out the whole entire fucking grid on the East Coast. 50 million people were put out of power. 50 million, that's a lot of people. But that, what is that? At that time, that's like one fifth of the fucking country. I remember that day, 2003. I was uh, 20 years old, I think. Yep. 
August 2003. Did some digging. You're not going to hear this on mainstream media. Somebody hacked into the system. A foreign somebody, hacker, hacked into the system. To see how much damage they can do. I'm probably going to catch another flag on this channel. And I have to fucking put all my videos on private again. Because they're going to say I'm passing misinformation. No, I'm not. If, you, if you're going to make me believe that a fucking tree in Ohio shut down one-fifth, one-sixth of the fucking country? Come on, man. Yeah, okay. That was bigger than the blackout in New York City in the 70s. We have a hacking situation. The whole South is out of fucking gas now, right, right now. One third of the fucking country doesn't have gasoline. How come you don't hear about this shit on mainstream media? It's mind manipulation. They're only going to tell you what they want you to believe. Okay. I just came back from Florida on Thursday. Thursday, I got back here Thursday. Before I left, I went through Georgia to get gas. Waited in line for a bit. The only kind of gas I had at the station was unleaded. Keep in mind, I got a Dodge Charger. It's considered a sports car. Depending on what edition you have. I got a pretty powerful engine under the hood. I'm just going to say that. I prefer a better gas than unleaded. All they had was unleaded. That's all I can get. This was in Georgia. This was north of Atlanta. This was on, I believe, Wednesday. I think it was on Wednesday. Yeah, I think it was on Wednesday. As I was on my way back from Florida. I spent three weeks in Florida. You're hearing it from me. Anyway, I'm going to Anson County tomorrow. I'm going to produce the content that the mainstream media is not going to produce. Just like when I was in Lansing yesterday. I seen one reporter from the mainstream media. I think it was Channel 10. I think that's Lansing. I don't pay much attention to the mainstream media anymore, so I can't tell you. Channel 10, I believe, I believe is Lansing. I don't know. There was a photographer for walking around taking pictures. I was slinging my AR at the rally, and uh, he comes over, and I don't know who this guy is. Never seen him before. And he just starts snapping away at me. I'm like, oh, God. So I just stood there like, you know, like a model. Well, I was standing there listening to the speaker. Forgot who was up. Somebody. Somebody was speaking. I can't remember who it was. Somebody running for state rep. But anyway, um, and I was holding my AR because, uh, you know, there was quite a few people out there with guns. And uh, being the fact that Antifa has been running my name through Twitter the last couple of weeks, I don't know what to expect. So I thought, you know. I'm going to take an extra security measure. I'm going to hold my rifle at this rally. So I did. And the guy just started snapping pictures of me. He got down on the ground. Ching, 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 ching. I just stood there. You know, let him let him take pictures of me. I didn't, I didn't even pay attention to him. Like, I've been through that before. It's not the first time it's happened. It won't be the last. It happened to me back a couple of months ago. So I did a little research trying to find my picture. Oh, I found it. In the Lansing State Journal. <laughs> Holding my AK-47. <sighs> and 
Anyway, I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm going to bring you some content. I'm putting my boots on the ground tomorrow in Traverse City. I'm going to try to get over to Antrim County, which is a little north of there. Uh, there's another something happening on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I will be in Antrim County for sure on Tuesday. Can't say tomorrow, but I will be at the rally tomorrow in uh, Traverse City. Boots on the ground. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna hear it from me. Um, I produce the content that the mainstream media does not produce. I don't want much recognition for it because I'm just an ordinary guy. But there's a lot of people out there that appreciate what I do. I've had people come up to me at random, shake my hand, appreciate what I do. Uh, had people ask me if, hey, can I? take part of your video and use it for this, I'm like, go for it. And I don't want any money for it. I, I, I don't take money. People ask me, hey, can I do this with your video? If you're a nice guy, sure. Mainstream media, fuck off. I had the Washington Post send me a fucking email. I'm not going to say what video it was that they wanted to use. Because I'd rather not, because I don't want to make any of my patriots mad. But I pretty much told them to screw off. They wanted me to sign something to sign one of my videos away. The Washington Post. They sent me an email. I deleted the email like I didn't see it. And then they sent me another email. Hey, we sent you an email. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, dude. No thanks, bye. Can we use your video? Da -da -da? All you gotta do is sign this thing, this e-signature. I'm like, you know, I deleted like two or three of your emails. Because, you know, you guys are fake news. Washington Post, yeah. You guys are fake. No, you cannot use my video. I'm not giving you permission to use my video. I'm not going to sign this thing. And if you do use my video, I'm going to copyright you. Okay? And we can go down the legal path. You guys are fake, and you're not going to use my video. Okay? It's easy to download fucking my content off YouTube and use it. It's happened thousands of times. What people do with my videos, it's whatever. I don't even care, basically. But basically what I'm trying to say is, I tell the mainstream media to get lost. I don't trust them. They're fake. They're, they're out there trying to fit an agenda. I'm not. I'm out here trying to tell the truth. Whichever way it goes. That's what I do. That's why I've showed up to leftist rallies. Okay? I've showed content in my videos. Trump supporters committing violence. Okay? I have. I show everything. That's what I do. I don't edit anything that much. I don't cut anything out. I don't like to. It's too much work. Almost 100% of the time, what I record goes up on YouTube. And I think that's why people like me, because I'm very raw. You're not, you're not going to find a lot of independent journalists. You're not, well, you're not going to find a lot of journalists like that anymore. That Their content's very raw, you know? But that's what I do. I don't ask for any money. I just... I do this for fun, basically. And I do this because I want to. Okay? I don't have to do this. I could shut down my channels and so long. But I want to do this. I want to do this for my viewers. Anybody can do this. With anybody that's got a phone camera can do this. I don't spend a lot of money on my equipment. I really don't. I got cheap cameras. I got these freaking little. I don't spend a lot of money on equipment. I I got a couple of these. These these are like two three hundred bucks a piece. 
very good quality. That's all I got. And I got I, I carry a body camera around sometimes. And I use what I'm using right now on my phone. That's it. Nothing, you know. I got a photo, I got an editing program on my laptop. That's it. I don't spend thousands of dollars worth of equipment. You know. I don't see the sense, you know. I can tell a story without spending that kind of money, you know. Anyway, tomorrow, Antrim County, Traverse City, boots on the ground.